Greetings everyone, my name is Osa from Cambodian Next. Now we are at a Digital Government Forum, which is now held at Cockpit Exhibition and Convention Center. And we are now in front of Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training Booth. I am very pleased to have Vanna, who is from National Polytechnic Institute of Cambodia. And Can you introduce uh, what is uh, this robot called? Uh, as you can see here, there's two robots. Uh, we call the elephant robot and the rabbit robot. Uh, the elephant is the big one. It used to perform like we can uh, use it to con uh, to join or attend into the contest. Uh, we these two robots we use uh, to contest in the international contest, or we call uh, ABU Robocon, and the, it function is the same. We use this robot to shoot this ring into this pole. And of course, the uh, robot it can perform at the same function like this. It's called our school uh, stand in the, the number one of uh, this contest, the national contest that uh, there's so uh, that's uh, a lot of school that join in this event. And but but we uh, took over them and uh, stand for the first ranking in that contest. Uh, can you recall like how many schools that they competed in the national round in Cambodia here? Uh, there's uh, many schools in Cambodia that we compete in this uh, contest, uh, and that we like we find the winner in this contest, and uh, yeah, just we uh, attend together and find the one of the ro uh, one of the robot team that can uh, top over them and stand for the first ranking in that contest and then we uh, go to uh, perform interna international round. Uh, international round we uh, like perform like normally like contests with uh, other country like Vietnam, China and so on. Contest there's only uh, nine people like uh, there's six pit crew and uh, the three people go to in the competition like they control the robot and uh, control the function of the robot and just uh, make sure that robot is uh, functional that uh, really pretty sure that uh, it function they are all well so can you show how it functions like how it works how this robot is work uh, as I mentioned before these two robot it has the same function uh, the elephant one we uh, have a two shooting uh, we have the two, two, two shooting stick like uh, you can see here uh, it, their function is the same. Uh, we, they only uh, took this ring and uh, shooting into that pole. Uh, if you shoot fast and uh, fast and can uh, put it on that pole, you, yeah, of course you're gonna be a winner of that contest. Uh, so as you mentioned, like there are uh, there are two rounds. Uh, the first one is national round, round. and the second one is international yeah. round. So the topic. Uh, since Cambodia, we host uh, ABU robot from last year, and the topic already set by uh, our country. So, can you share us like difficulties in forming your group as well as uh, creating this uh, yeah. robot? Yeah, it's uh, pretty hard if you only see like it. it uh, but if we, if you join in this, app, <laughs> if you create a group and try to create the Suro robot, it's definitely hard to. Created because uh, at first we have to think about the mechanical process of making the robot. I mean, uh, uh, the mechanic, the mechanism that we can uh, took this ring and uh, place it on this uh, shooting stick right here and uh, push it and uh, make it uh, to, uh, to 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 uh, uh, just uh, took this ring and place it on the spin doll and then uh, push it to that pole to so uh, may i know whether this year um, we still have teams from cambodia to uh, compete in the international round and when it, uh, when will it take place uh yes uh this year we gonna still join this event because uh and yeah, we, we normally join this event in every year and this year we gonna compete in uh, vietnam so uh, it will take place in which Vietnam. month? Which month? I mean, uh, which month? Uh, national round. This year we're gonna compete in uh, June. May I know 
whether you interested in robots since you were young or you just start to uh, to be interested in this field uh, when you finish your high school yeah of course i uh, actually uh, interested in robot when i was young because when i was young i want to like i love electrical thing like uh, i want to uh, i love how to know how uh, that's all work when i see uh, the competition uh, someone who competed in that contest i very wonder how that robot can run and perform the test pretty well i'm so uh, wonder about it so i now i try uh, to join this event and just uh, try to cre create that robot as you can see here there's uh, so much mechanism on the robot that we can use it to apply in the real life and got a real benefit from it like uh, if you see like this uh, this ro two robot it's only can perform in this uh, contest to, uh, to 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 win in the competition but uh, in the real life benefit you can use that all mechanism to uh, apply in the industrial uh, like uh, the power electrical or uh, of it, because in industrial like you see nowadays there's uh, so much industrial in Cambodia like uh, beer industrial if you uh, go into the beer industry you ca you're gonna see a lot of mechanism that uh, related to all that uh, mechanism like the cylinder we use the air so in that uh, industrial you're gonna use the same arm mechanism like this because uh, if you can create this one to com co uh, to uh, fit in the competition, you can actually use that uh, mechanism to apply in the industrial as well. So after both competitions, so uh, can you share us like a message to Cambodians, uh, young people who are interested in robot, but they they think that they are not good enough to compete with uh, the national round as well as the international round. That can you share your opinion, like uh, your experience as well as uh, along with some messages? Uh, as you can see, what the message I want to uh, mention about to give for the young generation about it. If you love and interested with these robots, things stop like this, uh, just be confident with yourself. If you love and uh, like to do with it, just uh, keep going and try to figure out what uh, they all work and try to uh, make sure that you can do it because our country gonna be uh, use this. Uh, uh, yes, we're gonna use this technology to uh, make sure to uh, develop our country in the future. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Vanna. So can you tell us uh, what is uh, its name? Its name Sok, and uh, it's called as the CADT robot receptionist. Uh, so can you further elaborate what are the main functions functions of this robot? We have three main functions, three main technology that we integrated inside this robot as our software. So first. Um, we use Khmer ASR or Khmer Auto Speed Recognition that um, uh, it get the, the, the speech from the user and generate to the text in Khmer and then we take the uh, Khmer, Khmer word, Khmer sentence to analyze in our Khmer chatbot and after that when the chatbot analyze know how to answer the question or not they give back as the um, the, the, the from from text to speech that uh, our technology is my text to speech uh, so a uh, throw back to the process plan until make it workable so uh, can you share with us uh, how many months uh, did your like your school create this successfully uh, in our Institute of digital research and innovation spent around three or four years on uh, integrate of this software in this robot. Uh, so can you share what are the main challenges of creating this robot? The main challenging is, is about the the that we we trying to uh, uh, develop our Khmer language. As we can know that um, in chatbot we try to split the word of the sentence. For example in English we have the, the already the split of the word in the sentence. But in Khmer language, uh, we don't have any split. 
So before we use or we get that data to train in our model, we have to split those words as our Unicode in Khmer language perfectly to train in our uh, model. Uh, can you show us how it works? Like yes, yes, I can. First, first we 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 rebuild the script on touch the sensor on his his head. So we have the the front, the middle, and the the rear. So we touch in the front of the sensor. So our first process, we touch the sensor on his head, and then it will come us that what his name, who who is he, and then we start ask ask him the the question related what we have in our data set. So how many languages that Sam can speak? Only Khmer language. Okay. So uh, does Pat in the future have any plan to? Uh, make it can speak more languages than Khmer? Uh, actually, in our senior should focus on only Khmer language, but we want to do it better and better in our Khmer language. So for now, currently, we we train him just like a uh, no normal information that we provide in in our software. But in the future, we plan it to make it can learn by itself. And then they try to predict and improve itself. That, that we don't have to um, um, add our own data sets. Thank you very much, Mao. Thank you. Sum su với đàn nát chọn đời. Ta cỏ xuống Prajni nương tu kẹp mình cúng miên ti tăng này nè. Cỏ xuống Prajni nương tu cùng miên cùng miên ti. Tăng sát nơi ở kia lệnh đọc bầy mà hai vị thi bỏ một nơi bóng sẵn cắt xoay chọn thẳng đạo tùm bình tùm bình.